At first glance, this clock appears to be German. And if you notice its depth, it would appear to be musical. The first is not true, the second is true. This clock is actually a New Haven chime number one, built in the early to mid 1890s. It chimes on eight nested cup bells, which is an extremely rare feature for an American clock of this time period. In general, the American clocks didn't come uh, with chiming movements until the late 19-teens. So let's open up this clock and see what it sounds like. Remember, this was before chime clocks had standard chime melodies. So here is the quarter. the half, that sounds a lot like the Whittington chime melody, the three-quarter, and the hour. And as you can no doubt tell, it struck the hour on a coiled gong. I do enjoy the strike silence selector. Notice too that the pinwheel for the music box is upside down here, but it says Westminster. And the catalog from 1895 from New Haven does call it a Westminster chime. And this was, as I said before, there was any standardization of these things. The plates on the movement are interesting. It's a three-plate movement. The very front plate is a typical American time and strike front plate. Then it has two large, solid, eight-inch thick, nickel-plated brass plates between which the chime mechanism runs. All in all, a very interesting and rare piece. I hope you enjoyed looking at it.